Hey everybody, uh, Cora here. I just wanted to do some videos um, detailing how to do the horror moves in the stands. Um, and I'm not going to be playing because my roommate's asleep, but um, I will be um, detailing how to do these horror moves so that new members can get some practice. Um, and also keep in mind that the video is inverted, so um, this is my left, this is my right. So just keep that in mind. All right. So in fanfare, I believe, does not have horror moves in the stand. <laughs> Returning members, correct me if I'm wrong. It's still early in my head. So I'm going to move on to the Missouri Waltz. And in this, the first thing that they will do before this happens is they will determine up-downs. And the leader of your row will determine that for you guys. And you guys will, like, look up-down. Um... And this will be for the chair step part of the waltz later. Typically we play this after the first quarter is done. Um, and you don't do this during pregame, but any other time you play this in the stands, this will happen. So the first thing that they're going to do is the drum major is going to just start conducting really, really slow. And you're going to start with sway to the left on the da, and sway to the right da. And then, da, and then you're going to start swaying to the left and to the right, every other beat. So it'll be kind of like, da, 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 And you keep doing that until you get to measure 18, or rather, measure 17, where you kind of stop. And measure 17 is the measure where it says straight on it. Um... I kind of just stop when I do that so I can get ready for to do my up downs and if you are up starting on that trail you're gonna stay up and then go down and up and then down and you keep doing that in that pattern for the rest of the time and when in doubt look at your neighbors left and right do the opposite of what they do all right and if you are down first you immediately go, duh, and you go down first. And that motion is supposed to be, um, yeah, let me get back so you guys can see my feet. So you just keep your feet relatively close to you, then just bend at the knees. It's not supposed to be any like that, anything. Ooh, that popped my knees. Um, it's nothing super bad, just as long as it's a noticeable elevation change, and then it should be fine. Also, don't mind my boobs, I'm sorry. Um, all right. And once you get to the half note triplet in measure 25, that is the last of the up downs you will do for the song. And then once you get to measure 26, you're going to continue starting off left and keep doing the swaying until you get to measure 34 on that G whole note. And you go to the left down and you can do like a little bob to keep time if that helps and also kind of, you know, it's aesthetically pleasing in my brain, at least, to do that. So you can do a little bob down on the left, and then for the D, up on the right, do a little bounce, and then on the F, you do a little circle. I typically just do one, some people do two. I'm not really sure if there is a proper way to do that, but circle, regardless, uh, counterclockwise is what I do. Um, I'm not sh also not sure if that's a thing, but I do counterclockwise. And then for the da-da-da-da, stay perfectly still. Let me know if you have questions.